heart of the Pacific Ocean, not far from the equator, lies a majestic gem of a tropical island. This island is hard to find on a map and has only been known to a limited number of sailors traversing the Pacific along with an even more limited number of adventurers with fly rods or surfboards in hand. This island is most commonly known as Fanning Island, but to the small population of villagers who call it home, it's known as Taboran, which means heavenly footprint in the local dialect, because the atoll lies in the shape of a footprint in the middle of the great blue ocean. Fanning lies just 173 miles north of Christmas Island, and about a thousand miles south of Hawaii. Even at that distance, it's one of the closest landfalls to the Hawaiian Islands. Yet, it has remained a quiet, peaceful place, off the grid and unimpacted by the outside world for decades. Fanning today has a local population of around 2,000 residents settled in seven small villages around the atoll that are connected by a dirt path. Travel is limited mostly to bicycles, motorbikes, and small boats. Now, in a partnership between Pegasus Lodges and the Fly Shop, adventurous surfers and anglers at last have an opportunity to explore this island lost in time. The first few groups of intrepid explorers made their way to Fanning in 2017. Some were hardcore anglers in search of aggressive bonefish and trevally that have never seen an artificial fly before. Some were surfers looking for consistent waves and a great ride in a pristine, unimpacted environment. They found what they were looking for, but even before that, 
Rumors about this incredible place were being whispered about in fly fishing and surfing circles around the world. But the question always remains when a new destination is opened up to the outside world. What will the future hold for the people who live there? There is a fine line between development and exploitation. The Fanning Island Project, through Pegasus Lodges and the Fly Shop, is focused on working closely with the Island Council and the Village Elders to develop an environmentally conscious, sustainable approach to incorporating adventure-based tourism to the island. In collaboration with the community, efforts are underway to protect the natural resource of the lagoon and reef, as well as to improve the lives of the local community through improved access to medical and education supplies, food, and other resources previously inaccessible on the island. There remains much to see, learn, and discover in this beautiful tropical island. We know that there are good populations of fish, and these fish are aggressive, having never seen an artificial fly. As we continue to discover more about the fishery and the breaks offshore, and the guides and local communities gain more experience, the entire Fanning Island experience is only going to get better and better.